a being that fake out this morning then we got support down over here it's gonna be targeting those highs could actually be a pretty nice day here for john wicks in the market you know the john wicks who just like to sell here and buy here so we gotta see what price is gonna do if we just keep trading within this range until the pre and y session towards new york open um and the range is quite decent as well it's like i'm seeing about 46 pips there got into this position but close at 18 pips seeing gold lose momentum 30 minute time frame, close above resistance, entry at break and retest. I know what kind oh, of man. Oh, nice. You are. Okay, I see. Yeah, it's a good setup. I think this looks really good. Scaled into the same position based on 5 minute time frame. Yep. Oh man, that's that's really good. You still got room over there to move up to. These are the last pushes. I I really sometimes don't like uh when the market does those last pushes. It kind of pushes your psyche a bit because you have to react faster. And when you got to react faster, you got to make sure your lot size is correct and all of these things. And I think what to do in a situation like that is just to remain calm and take your time. Take your time because the markets might not just continue pushing. It could just push you into it and then you find out you you get stuck in drawdown for some time. So best thing to do is just be okay with missing the move and take your time. It's really the best thing to do in any high stress situation is just to remain calm. Like don't try and rush anything. Because if you rush things, you're gonna you're gonna mess up. It's a tight move, but we can squeeze something out of it for sure. If we just kind of respect structure a little bit more. Um, because if you look at the way structure is formed right now, and always remember, like market can only move in this three directions. It's either moving bullish, sideways. Or bearish so if you're seeing the way the structure is formed right now and it's sideways and we just tap the lows i think the next highest probability area we're heading towards is going to be the highest correct if we just got from here and this is a market structure then we are supposed to be coming back up to the highs and that's what we're seeing happen on gj we still have room over there to come up bro i lost 1500 dollars in forex oh um, you see because because you're not tuning into the streams you lost 1000 are you serious right now bro but just focus on the skill gain the knowledge first and then start to risk big and then start to do your flips and and um higher percentage risks that's the best way to do it uh forget above that resistance we should be covering the two resistance points because this one's higher i wouldn't do this if, if i but even if close this it. one we should be above i need a guarantee can i get a wick? how do i know you can deliver okay create us a wick if we break i'm gonna be stuck in but i can't all right we broke can price move from the entry what trading the view is it's white is over here so shit. it needs to move ah, okay there we go thank you sir we should be uh we should be good to move up here i think it looks nice we got also our sma confluence We're trading above the smas i'm looking for around 100 bucks on this move nothing too crazy and we make a run for it for 200 uh 358 that's you know we got our point a here so we got from point a to point b this is the range that price has to correct right now oh we just got the new hourly candlestick open so um yeah we're just uh possibly creating the hourly lows here before price starts to create the hourly highs let's actually see what other confluences we have here um all right so price was um looks like we got a small accumulation within that area over here starting to break above the highs um let's see on the five minute five minute close above structure we close the resistance points clean traffic smas in our favor and confluence we got a 50 minute SMA, strong 50 minute candlestick closure. We just broke above this previous SMA on the 30 minute. 30 minute also still has some room over here to move up. Um, even if it's just like seven pips Someone to that resistance. Here. There's still some room there to move up. 15, 50 minute range looks quite clean, decent. Um, let's see, maybe that's a more healthier bottom wick being formed here on the hourly time frame. See, hourly time frame, we've just had a kiss of death there on the eight SMA as an additional confluence. Strong hourly candlestick closure, bullish closure. Everything at this point is kind of looking bullish. Yeah, and I think overall it should be a good move. Should be a, should be a good setup here. Come on, baby, let's go. Let's break those previous highs and move up. I think, you know, when you look at price right now, there's less resistance to move up than it is to move down. And markets love areas of least resistance, correct? 
If you see the white line on the line graph, we haven't created a resistance point yet. Price is still moving up. Chilling. Chilling like a villain. It could also be, typically when you see price come down like this sometimes, it's also the candlesticks just catching up to the SMAs too. Ha! <laughs> Alright guys, this point you can put your stops to break even. Ninja! Alright guys, smash some W's in the chat, come on now. Stress-free trading, you guys told me this was stressful? Didn't even have a bearish candlestick. Nice. I got some slippage for my take profit there too. Holy! Holy! Look at that uh, kiss of death right there on the SMA too. You guys, remember, you want to get the TFX indicator? It's in the description box below. This things give you confidence like nothing else. 200, Hot. 252. Yeah, we dumb. just got uh, TP2 already this here. Smash for members in the learn and earn. Everybody's eating, man. TFX is just straight up say. eating. Beautiful. You see, that's it. That's the trade right there. That's it. From this point forth, I don't know what the market is going to do. This day it could forth, reject that area or it could continue uh, breaking through that zone. But I think this Indeed. is a good point here to still put your stops to like break even. At that point, put your stops to break even because this is going to be profit taking. We might see some players start getting out a bit. This in, this in our, our position, guys. I mean, look at this. We would have managed our risk if price was to go against us. And we didn't have to risk like some insane amount of pips. It caught basically a nice one-to-one -one here. How simple is that? Isn't that so much easier than dealing with the stress of blowing an account because you're just chasing wins? This way you have more control over your position. Tetra, thanks, took 10 pips. Uh, nice. Great trade. One I capitalized on with some burger money. Perfect. That's the thing. Like even if you're a kid in high school right now and you're still learning how to trade, you could use your lunch money to to try catch some positions from now and then you know if you have the skill you could still catch a decent rr in like maybe 20 bucks put it into an account maybe compound a bit more and then look for uh, decent rr positions like this this trade pays my breakfast perfect you see let it pay for the small bills because once it starts paying for small bills you're gonna feel much more confident about trading as a whole to pay for your bigger bills yeah man that's it that's the move right there congratulations everybody who caught this That's why whenever you execute on positions that you feel are part of your plan, they somehow tend to work out more because you're feeling confident in that position, which means then there's a strong possibility a lot more people are going to feel confident in that position. So it kind of makes it work. And that's what trading is. It's just doing the same thing every single day. So if you can find those areas on the market where people feel confident, then you get a higher probability that your trades are going to work out. It's not about trying to do the opposite of what the masses are doing. That's one way of looking at it, but also just learning to read price action. That's why knowledge is important. Because if you're learning the wrong things, you're never going to be profitable. So you got to start learning the right things.